Hello everyone, Rick McFarley here. This is my first attempt at a mind test tutorial video. I figured I'd start with a video I couldn't find one of, and that is how to create the nuclear reactor structure. Uh, the nuclear reactor core from the Technic mod pack is a really cool device that allows you to transfer lots of energy to the high voltage equipment. Now, it took me a bit to understand how to build the actual structure. I actually had to look in the Technic Mod source code on GitHub, and that explained to make a 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine concrete cube, and within that cube you need a smaller blast-resistant concrete cube, and within that cube you need a cube of stainless steel blocks, and within that you need water surrounding the actual reactor core. Now I've sped up the construction of the shells just so I wasn't wasting people's time watching me make this slowly. Uh, sorry if this makes anybody sick or if you don't like how quickly the building process goes, but I figured I would try to cut some time down. So there's the outside shell. You can have one opening in the bottom and one opening in the top, but specifically you can have a missing two missing blocks of each material in the cubes before the reactor starts to melt down. Usually you have one opening for the wire itself, that high voltage cable, or a manhole, like an opening so that you can service the core. I'm gonna close this off completely, but you can do it kind of however you want as long as you only have two blocks missing from each cube. Now the blast resistant concrete cube is just about done. I'm gonna wait till the end to put the top on it. Now inside here goes the stainless steel block cube. And again, trying to speed it up. And once you have the cube of stainless steel blocks, I usually put the reactor in at this point. As you can see the whole outside of it. And this is actually on top of a church that was generated by the Novagen mod, I believe it's called. Generates some cool little towns and things. So there's a reactor on top of the high voltage cable. This is a water can capable of holding 16 water sources, which is kind of nice, comes with the Technic pack. Now you don't need to fill in every block with the water. If you fill in just the corners, the water will flow and fill in the rest of a, a cube of water, basically. There you have it, the water surrounding the core. And that's how it looks without the top on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some uranium in there. And I can't access it for some reason. Okay, Rick, don't use the water can to access it. Sorry about that. I guess you can't access machines and things with the water can in your hand. It tries to either dump or take the water. So here we are, fill up the uranium in the reactor core. Now the, the uranium itself doesn't hurt you to have in your inventory. It doesn't hurt you to put in the reactor core, but once the core becomes active, once you have the whole structure complete, and of course the switching node that is required for any of the electric circuits or electric if you want to build machines in Technic you need a switch. So here's a completed structure 9x9x9 nine by nine by nine. and here I'm just going to extend the high voltage cable and bring it into the church here. I hope they don't mind too too much but I'm going to end up melting down the reactor to show you what that looks like because that's kind of a cool Cool uh, action there. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and fail and derp my way into the church. All right, extend the high voltage cable down. And I'm going to bring it all the way to the ground and put a switch kind of on the on the back. Now the switch has to go on top of the high voltage cable, but the other machines can. It, I think I believe it connects to any side of the the machines. So now we have the node hooked up. As you can see, I cut a little clip out there because I walked back outside to show you the bottom opening because I forgot that I had completely closed it in. So please disregard that. We'll throw a high voltage battery box on here. And I don't know if you've ever worked with the high voltage battery boxes in the Mind Test Technic mod, but that is filling up way quicker than if you were to have a few solar arrays. We're just going to get the Mark III drill and also the Mark III laser. 
very useful mining tools that you need a high voltage battery box to, uh, to charge quickly and completely, I believe. And while that's charging, we'll just show you the force field here. You set how many blocks you want the radius. Activate it, and as you can see, it does a cool, it almost looks like rain, but that's a impenetrable force field there. I believe a few things can get through. I think a laser can. I think if you dig under it, the force field will continue down and attempt to stop you, but if you have a water block there, I believe you can swim through the water block, so... Very cool anyway. You can make it a cube, you can make it a sphere. People can't walk through it, people can't hit through it. And even though the laser goes through it, the laser can't hurt players. It can, however, destroy your buildings. And now I'd like to show exactly what it looks like to use the laser to destroy a building. It makes it pretty quick and it can take out a line of blocks in no time. So turn off the force field. I'm going to run out to that tower out there. Force field off. Anytime, Rick. I'm going to go to this tower out here. Fly up above it. And generally it's not a good idea to shoot down because where I have fly enabled and I have damage not enabled or disabled, if you will. And as you can see, it just takes out an entire row. It goes pretty far. The Mark III laser takes out more blocks than the Mark II or Mark I. So we'll go around the outside of the building. Slowly take the walls out. And you can't see it, but when it when the laser hits the blocks, the blocks go into your inventory. I'm in creative mode, so it won't add more than one stone brick block to my inventory, but if you were just playing the game and you didn't have creative enabled, be it, then you'd get as many blocks as the laser destroyed. And as you can see, the walls are gone. All you can see is the staircase going around. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the staircase. And you'll see the hole in the middle will be a little bit deeper because I've flown down just a little bit. Just finishing up the last of the tower. And now the great big tower is a little crater. We drop down into the crater, and with the Mark III laser, it's not just good for taking out buildings. You can quickly start a mine. You can get it pretty open pretty quick if you shoot around like a madman, but I'm not going to go too deep into the mining of it. I just really wanted to show the nuclear reactor and what that was capable of. I'm just killing some time while I wait for that drill to charge, because now I'm going to use the drill to bore a couple of holes into the nuclear reactor. And you'll get to see it melt down, which was something that one of the main reasons I wanted to build the reactor core was to or to build the actual reactor structure and get the reactor core working was so that I could cause it to melt down. Now, I was half expecting a huge explosion when it melted down, like in some other games with mods, but in this case, this nuclear reactor, the Technic mine test nuclear reactor does not explode. It literally melts down. And the more you destroy of the actual reactor structure, I believe the more quickly it will melt down. And when it melts down, the reactor core becomes a source block for this flowing nuclear substance. Corium, I think. can see it flowing, and as it flows, it doesn't create any more source blocks. The one source block stays where the core was, and as it flows, its flow hardens into Chernobylite blocks, and both of which are very radioactive and will hurt your character in-game if you have damage enabled. I have it disabled, so you can just kind of watch. Normally you'd be dead by now if, you, if, if I have damage enabled. As you can see, it kind of melts down. I don't know if you can see, but it actually eats away at other blocks. It has a chance to, I believe. It doesn't, it doesn't rip through everything it touches, but there's a chance to lead through. It also causes fires, as you can see. All inside of the church and the wooden buildings directly next to the reactor are burning to the ground now. I'm lucky for the townspeople that 
Those buildings weren't close enough to the rest of the town because anything that was wood would continue to burn and catch fire. There's the fire ate through the one house. We had one made of stone, so it didn't quite kill that one. And the flow kind of slows down as the Chernobylite block starts blocking it up. And as you can see, it ate through some of the stone bricks even. Ate through all of the wood quickly or burned through, I should say, with the fire. Some of that wool made it out alive. And you can see the whole ceiling that was wood is gone. Take that back so it doesn't get destroyed because we are going to... I'd like to take down the, the walls of the reactor so that it can melt down everywhere. So just completely destroy the reactor structure like that. Again, I've sped this up just to kind of make it quicker because I'm sure everyone's a little bit bored by now. But, and as you can see, it flows greater and greater everywhere else. And you can probably imagine what's going to happen to the tree that that flow is reaching. And, oh my goodness, I didn't notice that it flowed all the way down this hill. It all looks like it's hardened into a Chernobylite block as of now. And there goes the tree up in flames. And that's about it for the nuclear reactor structure and core. This fluid seems to slow you down significantly, but like I said, if the damage was enabled, dead by now. I'd like to make a couple of more tutorials on how to make some of the other machines in the Technic mod. I, I found a couple of tutorials for a couple of the machines, but I could not find one on making or melting down a nuclear reactor, so I figured I would give that a shot for a first video. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions or comments or anything, let me know. I'll try to make the next one a little bit better. Hopefully they get better and better with time. I'm just going to go ahead and goof off here inside the church, and the church is now full. So it's eaten more of the ceiling away. Very destructive. As you can see, the source block there in the middle is a little brighter than everything. If you have a bucket, you can actually scoop that up with a bucket and dump it on something else, causing chaos on whatever you dump it on. But like I said, with damage enabled, it hurts you, so... Put a block there to get rid of it like that. Just kind of want to stop that and goof off with the Chernobylite blocks here. And that's it. I appreciate you watching. Subscribe, comment, like. Bye-bye.